Hi everybody, welcome back for a, another video. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video here on my YouTube, um, but I thought since it's One Book July, I would share with you what I'm using. And as you can see, no, I'm not using one book. <laughs> uh, I'm using multiple books. But I'm enjoying watching what everybody is doing and seeing how they're working through this year's theme. Um, I will link information about One Book July here if uh, you want to see what's going on this year. I'll link you to Romani's first video and that'll send you down a little YouTube rabbit hole about what people are doing this year. So, you see I've got a couple of Traveler's Notebooks and a A5 notebook on my table. And why don't we start with the smallest thing first. So this is an actual notebook, Traveler's Notebook, that I've used once for One Book July. <laughs> maybe, I think it was 2016 maybe? If I can find that playlist, I'll link it here. Um, this is a, it says LFT, Lady Falcon Traveler. Uh, she just goes by Falcon Travelers now, but it was by Monique at Lady Falcon Travelers at that time. It did have a couple of bookmarks, but um, since I've had it since 2016, um, the thread got worn and I've needed to replace it and I just took it out. I haven't replaced it yet. Um, I still have the little charms that came with it, but I don't, you know, have it on there right now. But this was a color that she called um, Coffee Latte. I do have another notebook that's called Coffee Espresso. Here's Coffee Espresso. Here's Coffee Latte. You can see the difference. This is a much darker brown, and this is a much lighter brown. Also, I've had, when did I get this notebook? 2019, I think. This one I got in 2019. And this one I got in 2016. And I've used this quite a bit um, for my wallet. I took it, a, it, it had a little bit of a rest in like, the 2020, 2021, and it's come back out, but I'll show you what I like about it. It has the same design that of that Chic Sparrow special notebook that I designed years ago. It has two card slots up here, and then a big pocket in the back where I've got like Plenty of John stickers and little business cards. Um, and then it also has, you can see, two card slots in the back with more, another big pocket back there. But since it's about planning, I'll show you what I have inside. Uh, first thing I have on the first string is a monthly calendar. This is one by Crefective Paper. And it's just a monthly calendar, which I used to keep track of appointments and work, my work schedule and like if we had like a power outage or stuff like that, you know, just my, my daily, monthly, there's June, here we are in July, keep track of birthdays and fun stuff like that. August is a, I've got nothing happening in August so far, which is kind of nice because I got a lot of stuff around the house to do. And then the symphony starts again in the fall in September and a ballet and all of that fun stuff. So that's my first insert, my monthly. And if you look at my first, I will link my first um, One Book July that I did. Uh, I was in a personal size. This is a personal size, but it wasn't this one. I was in a Chic Sparrow. I still have that Chic Sparrow notebook. Um, I will link that video. Um, I had a monthly calendar, I have a monthly calendar. Here we have, uh, this is a sticker of mine that my patrons got this month in July. Um, they get a digital 
printables of stickers, uh, inserts, uh, covers for like certain sizes, stuff like that. Um, and then this is my weekly insert. It's by Crefective Paper. These are two stickers of mine. Um, all I did was print them and I actually fussy cut them out. Um, this month we're doing coffee and tea themed things. Um, and so some fun little artwork. And here we are. This is just a week on one page. And since this is my on the go, it doesn't need to be as detail oriented as something larger um, that has room for working things out. This just has like the important things in it. Um, and so it's got a week on a page. And so this is the remainder of the year through the end of December. There's one more page beginning of January. I have some blotting paper from Airbine. I have on the next one, this is a, um, <clears throat> this is a Farouf zipper pouch from Traveler's Factory. It's um, the mustard colored one. I keep cash in here, just, you know, some place to keep it safe and zipped up. There's another one of my stickers for the month. I gave them large one. I've been putting them on a vinyl sticker paper and they look amazing. Um, this is one of my emote stickers that they got a couple of months ago, I think, from my Twitch, Twitch days. I'm still on Twitch, but I haven't streamed there in a while. But this is actually the insert that came with this notebook. I've never used it, so I decided to pull it out and it'll be just a little journaling insert. I haven't used it yet, but we're gonna, we're going to. And then in here I've got some stamps, some postage stamps, those, um, and some other stickers, here they are. These were stickers oh, for Patreon like a year ago, maybe. And you can still get those if you sign up today. You can still get all that stuff. This was one of my covers that I designed. Oh my goodness. A couple of months ago, there was an all Japanese Asian inspired series of covers. <laughs> And I, I made them in the Passport Pocket TN and the standard TN or the, the narrow or the Midori size, whatever you want to call it. And it just has a um, grid notebook. And there's another one of my stickers. Just stuff, notes on the go. There's grocery shopping lists, pen tests when I'm all out and about at the store looking at new pens. And then my Pan Am. 2016 Passport Writing Board. So that's all I carry in this. And this goes with me everywhere. It's, you know, my wallet. I take it everywhere. This is a newer Falcon Travelers. I got this, I ordered it in February. And uh, end of February, beginning of March. And um, I got it uh, a couple of weeks ago. And it is a gorgeous piece of leather. This is what she calls a, a medium brown. This is the little bag that came with it. She also included a folder. There were lots of goodies in my bag. A leather stamp that you could sew on, like a patch. Some pen loops. Ah, this is, says, this is what it says, what um leather it is. It also has an extra elastic in it for the closure. Here it is. Uh, she shipped it out on June 7th, the day after my birthday. And it took things from Europe to Oklahoma take forever. So I think it took a good 
three and a half weeks to get to me. Um, it's number 32, light brown, number 32. I'm gonna keep that out because someone wanted to know what, I posted a photo of it on the Facebook group and someone wanted to know what color it was. 32, light brown, it's really pretty. And it's a gorgeous piece of leather, as you can see. You can see the animal markings, and it is just lovely. You can see here's natural leather, and here's what the light, the, the light brown is. And this one I decided to get with secretarial pocket in the front and a secretarial pocket in the back. You can get them without any stitching. You can get them with just stitching. You can get them with a secretarial pocket, with card slots in the front and the back. There's so many options that you can get. But this is my like planner planner where I'm actually working out ideas and I've got um, lots of fun stuff in here. First thing is I've got one of her business cards and a bookmark. Monique does amazing, amazing work. I will definitely make sure that I link her below for you guys. And I think I have a coupon code where you can get a percentage off. It's like 10 or 15%, I think. But everything about this notebook is handmade. It's hand cut, it, the leather's hand dyed, it's hand punched and hand stitched. It is just gorgeous. But. Let's take a look at my inserts. So I have a monthly calendar and it's a perfective paper as well. And I've got some of the monthly bill post-it notes from Peanuts Planner Co. I've been using those forever. <laughs> Here we are in July. So a monthly calendar. This is an old I think Sheik Sparrow sticker. This is an old Sheik Sparrow sticker. This is one of my stickers that everyone got this month. And this is another one of my stickers. And here's the weekly calendar. It's a perfective paper again. It is the week on one page with a second page of grid. And this was last week the 4th of July. These are stickers by Florence. Here we are this week where I've got one of my stickers and that's one of my stickers too. I didn't have, I don't have much scheduled this week so that's why that's there. Here's another blotting paper. I've been using fountain pen in my notebooks because I've gotten a couple of fountain pens I really like and I just decided I'm gonna use them. And I'm actually using blue ink, which I haven't used like a blue black ink in a long time. And here we are. And so this is the weekly. And since this has two pages for each week, uh, it goes till the end of September. And then I'll print another insert for the remainder of the year, October through December. Here's my first writing board from Traveler's Company from 2015. Here's another Faroof zipper pouch in the mustard color. And I've got a bunch of different stickers from different people and cards and stuff like that. There's one of my stickers that my patrons got a while ago. Some of them got physical stickers. Uh, this is a Cosmo Light Air insert, and I've been using it for uh, notes. And just testing it to see. It's the first time I've had Cosmo Air Light paper, and I've been just testing it with different inks to see exactly. Working out ideas for August for Patreon. In September, it's my notes, kind of like my bullet journal. Here's the back of the zipper pouch where I've got 
there's some of my stickers, some little coffee stickers, and here's some more of my stickers. These are the larger versions, and I printed these on a vinyl sticker paper that I got on Amazon. Aren't they great? These are just some of them. And I have some page flags if I need them. And then just, oh, these are some more of my stickers. These are ones from this month. Here's some more T ones. And then these are some of my stickers from a couple of months ago. I designed them after those stickers that come with those folders. Um, those folders that have that little metal tab that you can slide these through. So that's what those are. So that's what's in there. This is a Turoko Shop Craft Tech folder. Um, some people will ask this. I've had this in my notebooks for a long time. A few years ago, a few years ago, I mean like 2016, there was someone that came up with a sticker that they called Grumpy Bear. And I think the sticker shop was called Grumpy Bear Sticker Co. or something like that. Um, and I was always like, that's not Grumpy Bear. This is Grumpy Bear to me. Um, the lady that created Strawberry Shortcake and the Care Bears lives in Tulsa. And, um, and so I was like, this is Grumpy Bear. <laughs> I mean, the other bear was cute, but, you know, to a Gen X kid like me, this was Grumpy Bear from the late 70s, early 80s. So he stays in my notebook. And he's cute. Here's another one of my coffee stickers. And then this is another one of my emotes from Twitch. And this is going to be my journaling insert, just like my passport. But this will be in the standard size. And I haven't done anything in it yet. Some more of my stickers. A postcard of Monique. in the back of my notebook. So there's my standard traveler's notebook. I'm using passport and standard size. So those are the two traveler's notebooks that I've been working in, but I do have one other notebook. And this, I've been keeping in my Lockby notebook cover. I just took it out because I was working in it today. I have a code for Lockbee. If uh, you go to Lockbee and you get like one of their notebook covers or one of their fountain pen quattros or any other beautiful like pouch that they have, um, I will, my code will give you 10% off of that code, of the item that is not on sale. If it's a sale item, you get the sale price because it's probably better than the 10%. But if you want one of these lovely covers by them, you'll get 10% off. So this is a Art Creations from Talon's uh, A5 sketchbook. It's kind of a cream colored paper, off-white, and um, I've been using it for some sketching. Like there's another one of my stickers. There's another one of my stickers. These were, I think last month, there were a bunch of flowers. I was doing some sketching of coffee beans and cups and tea tags before I went into Procreate. Some flowers, a ladybug, some more flowers. This was a couple of months ago, maybe March, the little guys were. Some flowers. This was a tutorial here on YouTube. There's my emotes, all six of them. Some little flowers I did. Uh, we're talking about urban sketching on Patreon. So I drew out and colored in my supplies <laughs> list for everybody. That's one of the first buildings, just a simple rough sketch. 
a little flower, some, I was looking at flowers in our neighbor's yard and this is them. And then just some notes about composition and that. So those are the notebooks. This is my sketchbook, which you can see there's very little filled. So I've got a, I'm gonna be using this for a long time. This sticker is by Brie at Documented Journey and her Patreon, but she sometimes sells her stickers. And so that's what I'm using uh, right now in the month of July. My passport, my standard TN, and an A5 sketchbook that I've been housing in my A5 <laughs> Lockbee, <laughs> which I need to thin out. It's getting quite chunky. So there we are. I thought I would just come back, share. It's been a busy summer, um, so I haven't had much time to film. And then next week I have some more wisdom teeth taken out and a couple of root canals. And so I'm not sure how much I'll be talking after that. So there might be some like art videos with just music in the background if you're so inclined to watch those. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.